Hey everyone, back at it again. Showing off my 1972 disc brake uh, apple crate. Bike's a November bike, so it's probably probably a 73 model production year, but bike uh, bike shows at least it was 72 in November. So bike's all original, minus the uh, the cables. You got the darker replacement cables that you can get off eBay. Uh, guy I bought it off of. Actually, this bike did come from another guy in the in the hobby. And uh, guy, when I bought the bike, he he had them, and uh, he just sent them with it. So, I'll say they'll suffice until I get me a set of originals to throw on it. But bike was actually sold at bike shop in Ohio, and somehow it made its way down to Florida, where the guy I bought it off of had it. So uh, it has been in the box once or twice, but I'll say uh, it does have that disc on it, and uh, everything's actually in pretty decent shape. Uh, it's got a few dings in it, you know, most things will. Paint's pretty solid. You know, chain guard's still vi uh, bright and, and vivid. You still read it pretty well. Uh, rear fender does have a dent in it. I'm actually thinking that probably happened during shipping, to be honest, because I went back and looked at the pictures that I got from the guy when I was actually looking at buying it, and, and it wasn't there. So I'll say I'm, I'm typically one I'll trust somebody. You know, I think it probably just happened during shipping, but just have something to have uh, rolled out. Take to that show I was talking about earlier and over in Portland and and have it rolled out along with the Corvette fenders. But uh, bike solid riding bike. I'll say I have ridden this once or twice. Um, got this bike like I said off a guy in the hobby. And uh, actually this and that pea picker I have came along in uh, about the same two three week span. I posted an ad looking for these bikes. And uh, really just trying to get me a disc. Honestly, that was that was kind of the main thing behind it. I had two at the time and figured, you know, if I'm going to add one, I might as well add one of the higher end ones. And so I went out, I was trying to go after a disc and found this through Schwinn Bike Forum. A guy had it on there for sale and ended up finding it. But at the time, I, I posted that ad on Craigslist looking for some. And I swear about a week after this thing came in the mail, a guy con contacted me about that pea picker and I just can't let that slide by, but luckily enough, I had the money at the time to be able to purchase both of them. So, but uh, but yeah, it's it's a solid bike. So you gotta got two of the four down. You know, a lot of people out there, I'm I'm one of those skeptics that say a uh, disc brake cotton picker exists. And outside of that dealer ad for the uh, the Grey Ghost that has that disc on it with a kid riding it. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit uh, skeptical that those two bikes actually exist with a real disc on it that came from the factory, but that's neither here nor there. But in my mind, I have two of the four with a disc on it. Like I said, I'd like to try and get the Sunset Orange eventually, but after that, I still got to chase me a lemon. But let's so say this is my 1972 disc brake apple crate. So I wanted to say thanks for watching the vid. Try to get through a few more bikes today. So y'all have a great day.